Hi guys, FIFAN0511 here today with uh, episode number 34 of my Every Goal Matters series. As you can see in our last episode, we did win the Division 1 title, so we are starting it from a fresh season. So, into our first match, um, we have got a full side out, and we come against a team called, I think it was Beast, is win Beast Mode, that's the one. So, interesting team. Uh, he's got a 5-2-1-2 uh, um, Serie A slash Bundesliga hybrid, um, including a very sweaty front three and a bat five. Uh, Rouse, Esfine and Muriel up front. Armero, Bonner, Hummels, Fupa, Santana and Pix at back. Ninth minute, uh, Gundo one goes in a run, whips in a ball. Um, Rouse is header, headed away by Smallwin, but straight into the path of Muriel, who makes it 1-0. And for our first game... To start off with in Division 1 again, it's not great. And hopefully we can come back. But six minutes later, he's um, he gets a long shot, but deflects out to Marquisio, who then goes on a storming run of his own. And then, kind of, we win the ball, but tackle, small in tackles genius, falls to Marquisio. And it's just another fluky goal for him, to be perfectly honest, with Marquisio. He did great work at the start, but from that goal, he really didn't deserve it. But a minute or two later, ball, a nice passing move comes to Castanos, who turns, has left at finesse shot, is tipped out. Anderson wins it back and finishes it off from quite a hard angle considering he has fallen over and it was his weak foot, I think. But anyway, it was 2-1 and we have got one back, so things are starting to hook up and we have got a lot of time left in the game. Ten minutes later, though, Granero intercepts the ball, does well to get past the defender, passes it to Vazte who lays off to Guzman, turns one, and a great shot from just outside the penalty box, goes top corner, nothing the goalkeeper can do, and yeah, it's two all. Uh, seven minutes later, Castanos plays it through to Vazte, does a nice little bit of turning, and then plays a perfect through ball, Granero with a weak foot, finesse him for 3-2. Um, I have had a series idea, a lot of people I know are doing like generations, like on ultimate teams, like FIFA 7, FIFA 10, well not FIFA 10, but, um, yeah, basically, um, I've, I have got um, the game with first ever ultimate team on, which is, in fact, uh, Champions League 0607. Now, if anyone would like me to do some gameplay on that or kind of a weird series, then please do let me know and um, I'll get that sorted. So, whilst I was saying about that, um, they did make it free with Gundo one. And a minute or two later, they have a shot from Muriel. Another shot then from S Vine, and which is saved, but it falls out to Ralphs in a pretty much empty net to make it 4 3. And um, yeah, with half an hour left, things are looking great. But in the 90th minute, Anderson whips in a corner, Vazde tries to get ahead in it, Pantella one chests it down, comes up for the corner, and volleys it, couldn't do anything there, so no, he made it 4 all. But we get another corner, whipped in, and Jermaine Genus with a fantastic overhead kick in off the post to make it 4 all. And to salvage us a very, very, very late draw. What a goal that was. Probably one of the best in the series. And to earn us a four-goal draw, it was certainly deserved it. It was a very tough game. Like I said, he did have quite a good sweaty team. I say sweaty. He might not have been a sweaty player, but it's just the team. So, like I said, it was a four-goal draw. So, we upgraded one of our subs by four. And the sub were upgrading, uh, um, upgrading his Ortiz. And we're going to get Gary Gardner in his place. He's a 70 rated centre mid, plays for Aston Villa from um, England. His key stats 74 heading and this year 79 shooting for a 70 rated centre mid. That is pretty amazing. So hopefully that can come to good use for us. So going into our second game, we still have our full team out, which is good. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get somewhere. Um, I It appears that um, the Swansea game as HDPBR has arrived. So I am hoping that we can get a series started soon, probably for FIFA 14, and I will let you know more nearer the time. So the guy we come up against now has a 3-4-2-1 Premiership team with Felipe Santana. Uh, in, he's got a very good front three in storage, Oxley Chamberlain and Van Persie. Also has Sherwood, a transfer version in left mid. But in the third minute of first third attack comes Castanos get, does well to get past Santana and then takes a shot just outside the box going to top corner. Nothing you could do to stop that. And it's 1-0. So yeah, very, very good early start. But 12 minutes later, ball comes to Castanos again. 
does good work to get past Avalois, whips it across, and the Guzman gets on the end of it to make it 2 0. And from our first very soft draw, this game is looking a lot more comfortable. A 23rd minute, his goalkeeper passes it straight out to um, Vaz Tay, his shot saved, and Foster Castanos in an empty net to make it 3 0. And uh, six minutes later, ball comes over the top, headed back to the check. Then he rolls it out straight to the Guzman, who takes a touch and then finesses it in for 4-0. Now, you could tell 4-0 after 31 minutes, but surely if I don't win this game by a lot, or just win this game, I'd be pretty shit. So, yeah, the route did continue in the 42nd minute, Anderson gets the ball, cracking ball over the top, and the Guzman hits a volley, comes off the post, um, and falls to Vaz in an empty net. Really should have been the Guzman's goal, but... It just wasn't meant to be, I suppose. So, just after half time, um, Genus gives a nice little dribble run, passes it to Vazte, and has a nice chip over, and the Guzman gets on the end of it to volley it in for 6 0. And a great goal it was, well taken. A few minutes later, a free ball comes to Luck Castanos, who takes it on his strong side, his right foot. And finishes it off to make it 7 0 in the 57th minute. So, yeah. And um, unfortunately, that is how the game ended uh, a 7 0 win, and it could have been a lot more, but he made quite a few good saves in the se end of the second half. So, yeah, puts us on four points for a two game, so it's not a bad start. So, like I said, it's a 7 0 win, so we do have to grade, get a greater player by 7. So if we ever get is Dribble Cisse, who is 81 rated, tied a third tied highest in our um, series so far. 81 rated striker plays for QPR from France. His key stats are 85 pace and 80 heading. Also has five star, no, four star skill, four star weak foot. So unfortunately, it doesn't mean we have to get rid of Luke Castanios, who we've had for 40 games and he scored an incredible 47 goals for us. He scored some amazing ones in that time, um, and we've had him for about. Well, say about nearly 15 episodes, something like that. We've had him for a very, very long time. And it's a shame that we have to let him go. So, going into our final game for this one. And we're playing against Sutton Saints, who has a 4 on 2 on 2 Bundesliga team. Very good. Very good strike partnership in uh, Rouse and Malapa. Um, also has LER, Farfan, transferred to Kratis, um, Felipe Santana. It's a good team. In the sixth minute, he gets a corner, and Felipe Santana does well and has a very, very nice header to finish it off to make it a 1-0 and to put us behind very early on. But 30 minutes later, debutant Cisse passes it to De Guzman. He's finesse shot saved, but De Guzman gets the right side of a goalkeeper and he volleys it into an empty net from about two yards out to make it 1-1 to put us back in the game. But straight from kickoff in the second half, Gundogan goes in a nice little run. Rouse takes it off small win past Lehigh and um, finesses it in to make it 2-1 and to put us behind for the second time in this game, which is not great. Not what we want, but hopefully we can expand on this. Um, but six minutes later, Socrates goes in the run, gets quite far, plays it through to Malapa and he passes it across goal to Diego to put us 3-1, a little bit sweaty. And, yeah, not great. 3-1. Nothing Pantone could have done about it. But eight minutes later, free ball was played by Gary Gardner. Cissé tackles the ball of Socrates and then has a left foot shot. First time in off a post from a very awkward angle. And what a goal. What a way to make your debut, you suppose. And two minutes later, Kieran Gibbs whips in the corner. Cissé can't quite get on the end of it. Um, comes up to small and takes a touch and then finishes it off. To make it free all. And in the 77th minute, through ball comes from De Guzman. Cissé does well to win it. And he sweated us, so it would be only fair to sweat him back. Um, intercepted, but the ball falls out of Simeon Jackson. He makes it 4 3. And that is our game, how the game ended. So another upgrade by one. And it, things are looking good for us. Seven points in uh, our opening three games. So we do get an upgrade by one. The player we're getting is Jose Basingua. 75 rated right back plays for QPR from Portugal. His key stats are 80 pace and 77 passing. 
which means we're replacing Phil Neville, who surprisingly was actually quite good for us despite his god awful stats. Nearly scored in that 7 0 win, but wasn't close enough. So, to summarise this episode, after first game we had a 4 draw and upgraded um, Ortiz to Gardner. Second game we won by 7 and upgraded Castanos to Cisse. In our last game we won by 1, so we upgraded Neville to Basinga. That's it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. And see you soon. Bye bye.